Good morning, Gray Gables. It is my absolute pleasure to be able to encourage you on this special day in the life of this wonderful church. Many of you know who I am, in fact. Many of you watched me grow up in the various ministries of this church. My name is Brian Stiles. I currently serve as pastor for children and senior adults at First Baptist Church at Weston down in South Florida. I attended First Baptist Church of Gray Gables for almost 25 years, from the time I was seven or eight years old until just about three years ago. Not only was I raised in this church, but this church played a major role in my personal life. The Lord called me to himself at Gray Gables. I was born again, and I was baptized here when I was 13 years old. I was married to my beautiful wife in this sanctuary. I brought two of my three baby boys into this nursery. I was discipled here, and I was eventually called into the pastoral ministry here. So you see, this church isn't just a church that Jamie and I visit when we're back here in Callahan. Uh, it's so much more than that. Greg Gables is home to us. I praise God for this church, and I pray for this church regularly, and I even pray for many of you by name. Now, being in one place for so long, you gain many memories of it. One of my fondest memories that I have of this church was our Wednesday night dinners. It was my favorite night of the week because I was able to rub elbows with brothers and sisters that I hadn't been able to see all week long, and I was able to catch up with them all while our children were literally running around and screaming in the fellowship hall. At the church where I pastor now, we're unfortunately unable to host such a weekly type of dinner due to lack of facilities, so we don't get to have such an intimate time of fellowship with the church, and I really do miss that. I also miss knowing that I can go to Miss Mary Beth Smith at any point in time and ask for a peppermint, and I know that I would get one. I always knew that she would have a purse full of peppermints that she was ready to give away. Probably my fondest memory that I had as a member of Gray Gables were the tight bonds and relationships that I made in our youth group. Brother Cody and Brother Adam Page, myself, and several other guys and gals were some of the tightest group of friends that I ever had. So many of us were in different schools, from West Nassau to Hilliard to Trinity, yet each of us never identified purely as to where we came from. Rather, we identified as youth from Gray Gables, which really is a rare thing for teenagers to do. Many of those relationships I still treasure dearly to this very day. And over the years, this church was an incredible influence in my life. The amount of men and women who guided me as a child and as a young man really speaks for itself. Men like Brad Braddock, constantly pushing me towards holiness and growing in sanctification. Brad and I didn't always see eye to eye on things in my younger days, but he never once pushed me away. Rather, he kept pulling me to himself. Now that, brothers and sisters, that's a mark of a godly leader. Men like Tim Page, who took me under their wing, was a father figure to me in so many ways. Tim taught me the Bible and he taught me doctrine. And Tim discipled me. Men like Charlie Holmes, who taught me grace and patience and love. Guys like Mark Wynn, who never ceased to exemplify what humility looks like. Now, I wasn't the only one you were influencing. Take a step back and look at the men and women that this church has turned out into the ministry. Folks like Sidney Fields, Adam Page, Ben McMillan, Crystal Thomas, who served in China as a missionary, Matt Altman, Chris Reynolds, Ed Cobb, Jeremy and Jordan Wilbur, myself, and Brother Cody, your own shepherd, whom you raised unknowingly and in God's sovereignty to love you and to lead you with an intense desire to help you grow in holiness. I hope you see just how blessed of a church you really are. Now, this church really does mean the world to my wife and I. In so many ways, I was being trained and equipped for the work of being a pastor by you. I praise God for you, and I praise God for what he has done in the life of this church. Please know that I, I am so incredibly thankful for you. I love you, and I greatly miss you. I look forward to being with you again. Thank you for your time, and God bless.